And now we move to the last speaker of this session, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Aga Khan Agency for Habitat Leading Climate Action in India. Big, give a huge round of applause for Prerna Langa. Uh, good evening. Um, it is really a great pleasure to be here and to share uh, this panel uh, with such distinguished members. Uh, thank you for the wonderful work you do. Uh, and also, it's quite a delight. In fact, uh, this is the first conference I've attended after the pandemic. So after three years, to wear a sari, meet like-minded people, uh, you know, who have the same uh, mindset uh, to serve. Uh, so it's wonderful to be here. Uh, briefly, I'm going to tell you about my background because I'm going to split uh, my presentation into, I'm going to only speak for half the time. And if you have any question, happy to answer it because I would like to use, uh, you know, the time here, it should be valuable to you. Uh, so uh, I have been lucky to set up two corporate foundations from scratch, uh, including uh, making the first presentation to the board. So I've set up for ICACF group, the ICACA foundation. Uh, that was even before uh, the CSR Act. So there was no act, uh, but uh, we had a visionary mentor, Dr. Nachiket Moore. We set up two member team to set up ICSA Foundation. And then I went on to Yes Bank to set up Yes Foundation. So thank you. <laughs> and uh, interestingly, uh, I've not only worked for two corporate foundations, I've now worked working for two non-profits uh, because I joined a philanthropist uh, uh, in Punjab. To, uh, we were working in 200 villages, and by the time I left, uh, we were working in 1,100 villages and now really privileged uh, to be a part of the very rich uh, Aga Khan Agency for Habitat. Uh, wonderful network, uh, highly respectful, uh, amazing. So I also have changed over the years because I've really realized uh, that when it comes to nonprofits, the kind of work that happens on the ground and the hard work and the passion, when you're on this side, you get to know even more. Uh, I'm a strong advocate of, um, you know, bringing, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, creating ambassadors. So I strongly believe that while nonprofits do great work, uh, you know, we really need to uh, showcase our work to bring in volunteers, to bring in attract talent, and to bring in the funding. So, uh, so with that background, uh, I don't think I'll take you through the presentation. I'll just briefly tell you our approach. Uh, in terms of uh, at Aga Khan Agency for Habitat. Uh, moving to the next slide, uh, very briefly I'll tell you in terms of, I'm not going to tell you how important climate uh, change is. Uh, all of you experienced the hottest summer, right? This year I think it was uh, the hottest March since the last 122 years. So I'm not going to give you global gyan on where we rank and all of that. But so uh, the point is that action needs to be taken. So moving to the next slide, the way uh, Aga Khan Agency for Habitat is addressing it is pretty interesting uh, from the lens of uh, the community. So everything that we do is involving the community. So from participative rural appraisals, where we involve the community. So we are looking at it from a disaster risk resilience perspective. So we involve the community to tell us where is what and where does flooding occur. Uh, also ensure that structures are in place. So, uh, you know, uh, government has done a lot of work in terms of creating safe houses in villages, but people don't really know about it. Or working with the local school to elevate, uh, you know, the school to protect it from flooding, or getting the community to have like a climate action uh, group. Uh, the government has a village, village disaster plan, but uh, you know, it, no committees are formed. So really working with the community and uh, considering that we are a global network, uh, we use a lot of, we have in-house uh, GIS capabilities, etc. So right from early warning systems to, uh, you know, mapping along with community participation. Uh, so that's a key uh, area of work. Uh, we work, uh, can you move to the next slide? So we work across the spectrum. Uh, in fact, uh, right from drought uh, affected areas in Maharashtra, in Aurangabad and Varda. Uh, we are working in Palgat district in Vasai where we have done a totally integrated uh, program. 
Biodiversity is very close to our heart. So we work in all these areas. Uh, I'll just take you quickly uh, in a minute uh, through the next slide. So uh, earlier in, nobody used to talk about climate change, right? Uh, so the work that we did, next slide, was more in the area of clean water and sanitation. And over a period of time, we are working in terms of clean energy, uh, climate action, uh, and the full spectrum of climate. So what we do is ensure safety of houses and resilience of houses. Uh, we work on the built environment and also nature-based solution. We are working on man-animal conflict in, uh, in gear, uh, gear uh, uh, there, and it's going pretty well. Uh, so quickly uh, on Vasai, uh, what we have done is pretty interesting. Uh, and uh, like from series of work on water management from all kinds of structures, from wells to bunds to name it, uh, we have built some 550 sanitation units only in these uh, eight villages and 22 uh, uh, blocks. Next slide. So in terms of impact, uh, what I'm particularly happy about was in this particular school, uh, they used to close the school in February. Thanks to the water work that we have done, now they have water, they don't have to uh, close the school, they have water right up to the winter season, to, uh, to the lanes, uh, to the rains. And uh, so with lots of work on solar lighting and uh, the great thing is that uh, the quite, what is quite uh, uh, amazing is the groundwater table we have lifted up to two uh, meters which is quite commendable. So this is the work that we have done in Vasai, I'm not going into depth. Move on, move on. Next, next. Next. Uh, uh, now, uh, uh, doing a lot of work on coastal risk reduction, currently in uh, uh, Gujarat, would love to work in Maharashtra too. Uh, so we worked in 10 villages on, like I said, all elements of creating a biodiversity register, training for the state, district, and village level committees, uh, to uh, mapping, uh, and also, uh, you know, mangroves uh, using IoT and sensors, etc. Delighted, uh, in fact, I joined, uh, you know, three months ago, delighted that uh, just uh, two days ago we got a grant to further our work in uh, 30 more villages, a grant of five crores using technology. So, uh, working to, uh, on the coast of, uh, we have started with Gujarat, we would like to also cover Maharashtra. So working in these areas, doing a lot of work in uh, schools and looking at uh, schools from like a school protection program on wash, menstrual hygiene, the structure, energy audits, etc. I'm going to close here. I don't want to carry on with the presentation because I know we don't have too much time. Uh, but if anybody has any questions, uh, happy to take, take it. No questions, then I'm happy to close if no questions. So I just want to say that, uh, uh, you know, uh, Prime Minister has given a commitment of going net zero by 2070. And uh, no, no doubt we require climate uh, funding for this, climate finance funding of $1 billion. Uh, but really climate is about collective action. So it's about you, me, our institutions, and uh, the communities and how we take it forward. Uh, so delighted to be working on climate action. Like I said, uh, working on climate action is like buying insurance. You know, if, uh, if, you, if there is no climate, uh, if th there is no climate action, there will be no planet, uh, you know, and that's where we are heading. So happy to collaborate with anybody uh, on climate action, other nonprofits. Uh, uh, you know, funders, etc. Happy to see how we can work together. We work closely with the uh, government, but happy to work with other nonprofits. Thank you so much. Thanks, uh, Rusinji. Thanks for this opportunity of getting us all together. <laughs>